Looking at the clavicle from above, we can see that it's slightly S-shaped, with a forward curve to its medial half. At its medial end, this large joint surface articulates with the sternum. At the lateral end, this smaller surface articulates with the scapula. On the underside, massive ligaments are attached, here laterally and here medially. Here's the acromioclavicular joint. Two strong ligaments, the trapezoid in front and the conoid behind, fix the underside of the clavicle to the coracoid process. There's very little movement at the acromioclavicular joint. As we've seen, the medial end of the clavicle articulates with the sternum at the sternoclavicular joint. Strong ligaments between the clavicle and the sternum, and between the clavicle and the underlying first rib, keep the two bones together, but permit an impressive range of motion. Up and down, and backward and forward.